when you start to develop program using ARM assembly language, you will realize that most of the time you will need to move data from memory to registers or move data from registers to memory. This is because for an ARM processor to execute any arithmetic or logical instruction, the value must be first stored on registers. And due to the limited number of registers, these values are usually located in memory. Only when it is needed, the processor will move the value to registers to perform its operation and finally For example, if we need to add two values from memory, first we need to load both values into a register, then perform add operation of this value with ALU, and finally store the result back to the memory. We can perform this operation by using load and store instruction. Load or store are the only two instructions that allow to read or write from or into memory in Cortex-M processor. First, let's look at how load instruction works. Load instruction use the opcode LDR, the basic instruction take to a plan, a destination, and a source. In this case, both all plans must be a register. In general, LDR will move a value from the source to a register as the destination. The source are using a pair of square bracket to inform the ARM processor that our data is from the memory. So which memory that the processor is supposed to look for? As from our previous topic, there are almost 4 GB of memory location available in Cortex-M processor. Well, if you recall, each memory location is uniquely identified with a memory address. For example, the first location has the value of 0, and the memory address 1 will have the value of FF. Therefore, whenever the ARM processor needs to do something with the memory, the first important information would be the memory address. Therefore, the memory address is given by the register inside the square bracket. Take an example of load into register 1 from the memory where the address is given by the register 0. So when you look into the register 0, you will find the value is actually 0, 8. So that basically is the address of the memory location that your processor need to move from. And in the memory address of 8, you will find the value 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, 8. And finally, your processor will move this value and store it into the register 1 as the destination. It is important to remember that 
R0 or R1 is not the actual value, but instead it is just the name for the registers. The value is located inside the 32 bits placeholder represented by R0 or R1. And again, memory address is not the data, but it's just the name represent the location of the memory. Whatever value you found inside that location is the data.